Fruits Basket Season 2 is almost here, and there's a lot to look forward to. The first season blew me away. At first, I didn't know if I'd like it. But it ended up becoming one of my favorite anime, not just of the year, but of all time. But as I think about Season 2, and the reasons I'm excited, I also worry. Maybe this is just me tampering my expectations, because if I expect perfection and get something great, I'm going to be let down. Also, this video has spoilers for Season 1. Actually, does it? I don't think it does. Anyway, uh, please do not spoil things from Season 2 in the comments. I have not read the manga, and while I will try to keep up with it weekly for the Fruits Basket podcast, I may not always be caught up. Anyway, let's get into this. The thing I am most excited to see with Season 2 is the story. Because Season 1 didn't really have a story, or at least not as a main focus of the show. Pretty much everything was a character introduction or a character being fleshed out. Now, Season 1 was great with how it introduced the characters, but I want to see how they push the story forward now. Since they've sold me on the cast, now is the time to capitalize on that. Plus, there are so many mysteries about the Somas that maybe you want to see more. See how it all fits together. And with the great foundations of the characters, this could be an incredible show. It could be. Or it could fall flat. That's the thing. There have been shows out there that have had great setup, but when everything comes together, it's just plain dull. And so far, Fruits Basket has not proven to me that it can tell a good overarching story. Sure, this may be unfair, doubting a show because of stuff I haven't seen yet. In fact, a lot of my worries are based on speculation, but it's still a worry I have. Character-wise, this is where the show has proven its ability. The first season was amazing because I loved every character they introduced, and even the ones that did not stand out that much were still solid additions to the cast. I really am looking forward to seeing them further explored and pushed as they are fighting through all the terrible things in their life. But I also worry that the cast is too large for this to work well. And I love this cast, so I want them all to get moments to stand out. And with so many characters, I worry that my favorites will just be pushed to the side. Like, the relationship that Uo and Hana have with Toru is so great. But will they just fade into the background as Toru gets more involved with the Somas? Or like the more minor Zodiac members I love, I don't want them to be pushed to the side for the important ones. I'll be mad if Kisa or Hiro or Emoji-san don't get their standout moments. I'm also looking forward to the more emotional moments the new season will offer, which I'm sure there will be plenty. The first season knew how to get me attached to the characters, so I really felt the way they felt. Their fear, their despair, but also their hope. The first season of the show was so amazing because it truly connected with my heart. It wasn't just a show I enjoyed, but it was one I felt. And I get the feeling that the new season will push the show even further. At least I hope so. You see, I recently rewatched Fruits Basket Season 1, and I will be honest, I didn't enjoy it as much the second time. And I think part of the reason for this was because I knew what was going to happen, so there wasn't the emotional whiplash that adds to the emotional impact. And it's not like all shows lose their impact the second time. I recently rewatched My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 4, since I'm making a video on that, and the latter part of that episode still emotionally wrecked me. Though maybe that's just because I'm an MHA fanboy, but still, I think you get my point here. I'm also worried about the show getting darker. Now, I enjoy dark storytelling, no problems with that at all. But sometimes when a show gets dark, it also takes itself too seriously, and that's just a turnoff. Season 1 of Fruits Basket definitely had some dark moments, but there are enough lighter moments that help to balance out. So I am worried what will happen if the show fully embraces its darker side. And I also worry that the show will focus too much on character torture to drive character sympathy. There have been other shows that were meant to be these super amazingly emotional shows, but felt like the way they were doing that was just throwing as much torture and bad stuff at the characters as possible without letting the characters be people. You should not define a character by their trauma, but they should be interesting characters that have had bad things happen to them. That's how they do it right. Otherwise, it just feels emotionally manipulative, and I lose all care for the show. So far, Fruits Basket has been good here. They introduce the characters, give me to like them, and then add the tragic story to make me understand them more. Toru also helps here because as the main character, we see the story through her eyes, and by her caring about the other characters, we also care. 
So that helps balance it out when there is not a good foundation otherwise. And there's also the themes of the show. The thing that makes Fruits Basket stand out most from other anime is a message that its story is filled with. Most shows I want to watch because I want to enjoy them and leave it at that. But Fruits Basket is one that pushes me to be a better person, and I really am looking forward to that continuing and giving me more reasons to want to be more like Toru. Anyway, that is my thoughts going into Season 2. I'm wondering what I will think looking back on this video after the season is over. Let me know your thoughts going into it too. Or just tell me I'm wrong about everything. That's always fun to do. Speaking of being wrong, I will be covering the show weekly on the Fruits Basket podcast again with my friend C-Tactics over on his Bento Reviews channel, so go check that out. A link will be in the description. Hopefully, if I remember. If not, someone yell at me. And he also posted a video today talking about why he's excited for Fruits Basket Season 2, so go check that out as well. And with that, I will see you next time.